I'm on the South Shetland Islands here in Antarctica. The temperature, 45 degrees. Now, one of the first things you'll notice after those cute penguins, those are gentoos and chin straps, is the stunning lack of ice. While the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration has measured a 31% decrease in ice at the North Pole, here in Antarctica, the story is somewhat muddled. In some spots, the ice is retreating, and that is not good for certain penguins. The chinstrap penguins are doing just fine in this area, but the Adelie penguins that used to inhabit this area are disappearing along with the ice. Upwards of 90% of the population is gone. Experts say they're sort of a canary in the coal mine, a bellwether of global climate change. Just under the ice are the penguins' main diet, krill and photoplankton. Absent the ice, that food source has disappeared at an alarming rate, some 80% less krill and photoplankton today than two decades ago. But here's where it may at first appear confusing. There are parts of Antarctica where the ice is also growing. That reverse trend near the Ross Sea is helping penguin colonies thrive. Why is there more ice? Well, climate experts say it's no cause for celebration. They believe it's from man's prolonged use of CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons, which have opened up a hole in the ozone layer down here in Antarctica. That has created a chilling effect. And that chilling effect allows the ice to grow. It's all connected. It's why weather experts say we're seeing more extreme weather. In the United States last year, we had 34,008 new record high temperatures. The weather here in Antarctica today, warmer than our pick city of the day. For the Weather Channel, Carrie Sanders, NBC News on the Shetland Islands in Antarctica.